Hi, welcome to Aussie Nomads Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. And we're about 5.9 k's from Bear Gully. So we have hit the dirt road. See how she goes with this. The reviews say it's all corrugated, but so far she looks like she's just been graded. Three of them. How cute are they? One's even got dots on it. They're getting ready to run. So we are at the Cape Lip Trap Coastal Park at Bear Gully. There is a little day use area there. A little track that goes down to the beach. This is our flight. Looks all right. Think we'll be able to get ourselves in there. So we are on site 30 at Bear Gully. And it's not a bad spot. It's a little bit uneven. Can't be whinging too much. That's the road in just there. So he's gone up to turn around. He's going to come back and then back in there. And we talk to each other on walkie talkie so I can tell him what to do because that's my job. So here he comes. We shall take little bits on how big the argument ends up and how many goes it takes us to get in here. But anyhow, we shall have a good hard crack at it. Okay, I am standing beside the number. Yep, keep coming around on that angle. Okay, bring it straight back there now like that. Keep coming. Okay, now start spinning it back to the driver. That's it, beautiful, but still come around to the driver. Sharp to the driver now. I can't quite see those trees on the other side of you. Hang on till I have a look. Oh, you got them? All right, yep. Keep coming around on that angle. That's good. You're good. You can follow it around there if you like. And just like that, we have a new home. And it's lunchtime. But this is Bear Gully. And that is site 29. And the road's pretty good in. It's gravel, but you know, it's not hot holy or anything. Water. There's your toilet. And then just above the toilets, there's a tent area. And there's a couple of campers up there. I'm just going to turn this off while we turn around. There's a big roundabout here to turn around then up at the end. And the beach is just through there. Look how beautiful that is. Just magic. Should be the day use area, I reckon. Uh -oh. 22 you get sea views the tunnel this is 23 and 24 and that is a beach accent and then we've got 25 <laughs> Bit of privacy bush. That's 26. That 27. That is 28. And this is us on 30. She was a little bit fun to get in there, but it didn't, wasn't too big a deal. 
So that's 30, go down this little track. Then I'm gonna say the next one's probably 31. 31, back up in there. And this is 32. Okay, once you got up here, there's nowhere to turn around if someone is in this campsite. So we are on our way to the Cape Trip Lighthouse. A little bit of afternoon exercise. All right, this is a caution. We're going on a gravel road. Be careful, Ed. This is a very pretty little drive. He's gone down a side chute and yelling. Lord knows what he's found. <laughs> have to find out. Must be a view, I'd say. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I've said this before. I cannot believe the places we end up. Oh my God, look at it. It's beautiful. We found a little lookout. What are we going to do? <laughs> look out. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. There's our lighthouse. Look at it, how beautiful. Oh my god! Look how stunning that is. Ah, oh, I'm gonna love this coastline. Can't see any whales. See, and if you're not gonna be able to see this on the GoPro, I'll get it on the big camera, but right there, there's like 60 seals sleeping in the water. So this lighthouse is the Kate Lip Trap Lighthouse. Nothing else, nothing that I've said in any of the previous parts of this video. It is lip trap. So she has been here for 110 years, is 8.3 meters tall, and was replaced with the current concrete structure in 1951. There's so many of them. But you can't guess who lives in there. Any one of these idiots get run over, that is right on the side of the road. He's a loony. Would you camp there? No. And here's another one, right on the side of the road, built himself a little track. Goes in up over there. Just roll forward a little. Oh, then it goes up there, up the side of the embankment and in there. Just roll forward a little bit, Ed. You can go stupid things. <laughs> it's the next morning and I'm going for a quick walk to the beach. So we are heading out exploring and first off I think we're going to end up at Venus Bay and then into Ontagi to do some grocery shopping, get some lunch, have a nice little day. The sun's trying to come out so it's a bit better than yesterday where it rained all day. Anyway, you should come with us. We are going flying past the wind farm. Our greed into the grass in these paddocks. So after 75,000 kilometers, it still hasn't got any better. We are actually at Tut One Lower. That's the boat ramp. We are going for a walk on the jetty. Don't know what you'd catch in here. Looks like fresh water. Probably carp and catfish. That's what it looks like you'd catch in here. I 
Okay, so now we're at Tarwin. It's the world's tiniest little town with the biggest park print. <laughs> How is that? You could have a wedding here or a family meeting, depending on how big your family is. I think they need to up the ante on the barbecues. There's not enough barbecues for the seat. That is just nuts. That's so good. We are at the Venus Beach and it's lovely. Someone's been playing silly buggers with signs. So far we've passed a unicorn, a yeti, and now that is a dinosaur. The sun's coming up on another magic day. <laughs> it is just lovely here, it's so peaceful. There are a heap of people camping, but they just don't make any noise. Flippin' amazing. How are all the colors in this weed? Beautiful. These little rock pools would be so good for the kids to play in. There are so many rock pools. So much weed. I can't see any little fish, but there's just a lot of things to look at. Such a good spot. There's families over there. All the little kids playing in the rock pools. Sun's just coming up. The sky is blue. It's a beautiful day. Never in my wildest dreams, after all those years of hard work, did I think retirement was going to be so good. I am just loving this lifestyle. We are loving this spot. You need to book online before you arrive. Most of the sites we showed you were big and roomy. The top area, up near the tent section, the sites are smaller. There is phone service and internet. Today, we are going to Walkersville to the lime kilns. See if we can find them. Anyway, he reckons we're going to Walkersville South. There is a massive sea fog today. It is good looking. So once again, we are at Cape Lip Trap Coastal Park and we are going to look for the lime kilns. Don't know where they are. Can't find any information much on them, but we're gonna have a look. Guess who lives in there? Wally. There's another Wally. This has got to be the start of these lime kilns. I reckon that you'd be able to get a good view of that from the beach. That'll be probably what they've got. They stopped for another fish. Look at that view. So here is another bit of the lime kilns. Gonna be all the way along here. There's a signboard up here. We'll go have a little look, see. Oh, it's even got a picture of what it used to look like. In 1838, they constructed the road. This is like a whole coastal walk. This is just magic. Get a look at the view. 
and you can see right to the bottom of the water. Out is the sea fog. Can't see two inches in front of ourselves. Get a look at it. It's like 12.30 in the middle of the day. Can't see a thing. Now it's even thicker. It's telling us oh, the T intersection and can't even be seeing it. Look at that out there. And then this one's got a rhino on the bottom of it. God love them. Now we are at Walkersville North. Still the same foggy day. But we were just up there. And he's a sick little wombat. We are going to Ned's Lookout. And we are at Sandy Point. And hopefully they trimmed the trees. Little baby. They made a big enough boardwalk. That's oh, lovely. Look at that. That's so cool. Could they have made that end look any better? Get a look at it. Oh, it's stunning, it. Could the day get any better? Get a look at the water. See, it's like an absolute glass out. It is stunning. And this one had our uh, extra rabbit. But there is a lot of rabbits, I've got to tell you. It's only at home. Oh my God, get a look at that. The fog sitting in the valley and the sun setting over the top of it. That is amazing. So in the world of travel, nothing really ever goes to plan. So we fully intended yesterday afternoon to come back and look at those lime kilns. But we got sidetracked because we had the biggest fog. It was flippin' amazing. And we ended up hanging around and doing sunset photos with the fog. And so now this morning, we are getting packed up to move. But I'm just going to scream back and do these killings because they look really cool from the beach and we couldn't get along the beach from high tide. So anyhow, off we go. It is freezing this morning. Well, it's much better this morning. The tide is way out. <laughs> Yesterday it was right up to the edge of the boat ramp, but yep, out today, so we should have no trouble getting to the lime kilns. Now, this is one of the lime kilns. They're big. Holy heck. This was once the bagging shed. So yeah, this was where it was all bagged and then sent off to market. And by 1894, they had bagged over a million bags from here. Unreal. All right, we'll head up the beach further to the next section. So yesterday we were standing up there, shooting down from the top. So much better when you look at it from down here. They're really good looking. So Shane has got a set of stairs to get up there and have a good look at it. But anyhow, there isn't. Go for it. Actually, there is a set of stairs there. We might go for a little look. There's a bit more of it. So the best time to visit this is low tide. So make sure you time that right because you cannot get to this without climbing over the rocks. Oh yeah, you got to come up these stairs. They're not too hard. 
And then in here. And then there's a door. So anyway, I have a selfie stick. <laughs> I can push it through there. And then that's killing. It's hard to believe that this was all made 200 years ago. And it's still standing. Well, that was a good little trip. Glad we came down and did that this morning. And now it's time to go back and start packing. So he is just doing a light check and we are out of here. So he reckons he can get himself out of here without any form of guidance. Let's see how he goes, shall we? So we're on site 30. It's been a good site. And we are on our way to Phillip Island. And that is it for Bear Gully. It's been a good little spot. Anyway, see us at Phillip Island. <laughs> Going to a caravan park, bear and water will be a treat. <laughs>